Hi everyone, welcome to Sinus Biotech Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about the embryonic cleavage. Let's start with the definition of cleavage. So, soon after the fertilization, the activated zygote or fertilized egg passes through a series of mitotic cell division. This process of repeated cell division of a zygote is known as cleavage or segmentation. Here, the egg cytoplasm is divided into smaller nucleated cells and these type of cells formed after the cleavage are known as blastomeres. Blastula is an embryonic structure composed of blastomeres and the cavity within the blastula is known as blastocyte. The process of cleavage occurs very rapidly to generate large number of cells quickly. For that, the embryo accomplishes this by abolishing the gap periods in a cell cycle. As we know, the gap periods in a cell cycle are G1 and G2. So, here the growth occurs by abolishing these gap periods. So, we know the cleavage occurs very rapidly to generate large number of cells quickly by abolishing the gap periods in cell cycle. For example, in case of frog egg cell, the fertilized egg will divide 37,000 cells per 43 hours. Now let us discuss about the events occurs during the transition of fertilization to cleavage. The main process is the activation of MPF. MPF is the mitosis promoting factor. It has two subunits, one large subunit and a small subunit. Large subunit is cyclin B and the small subunit is cyclin dependent kinase. The blastomere cell cycle is regulated by the synthesis and degradation of cyclin B. The cyclin B synthesis promotes the formation of MPF. The MPF formation will promote the mitosis. We know the cell cycle has both M phase and interphase. The MPF activity is higher during the M phase because the cyclin B are active during the M phase or mitotic phase. During the S phase, the cyclin B will accumulate and degrade. The degradation of cyclin B brings the cell back to S phase. During the initial stage of development, the cleavage is controlled by the maternal factors. The maternal factors provides all the nutrients and proteins during the early stages of proliferation. Once the maternal nutrients are depleted, the zygotic proteins will act. During this time, the gap phases are added to the cell cycle and this stage is called mid-blastula transition. Now let's see what is the mid blastula transition. Mid blastula transition is that during the first 30 nuclear cycles there is no gap phases as we said earlier. After the 13 nuclear cycles gap phases will regenerate. This mid blastula transition will occur approximately 120 minutes after the fertilization. For the mid blastula transition maternal nutrients and proteins are used but after depleting the maternal factors the zygotic proteins will be used. So, during this mid blastula transition, all the gap phases are added to the cell cycle, the maternal nutrients and proteins are depleted, then the zygotic proteins are generated. Now, let's move to the patterns of embryonic cleavage. The patterns of embryonic cleavage is determined by two factors. First is the amount and distribution of yolk in egg cytoplasm. Next is the position or angle of mitotic spindle and its timing of formation. So, the amount and distribution of yolk determine where the cleavage can occur and the size of blastomeres. Normally, yolk inhibits the cleavage. One pole of the egg is yolk rich and the other pole is yolk free. So, the cleavage occurs in yolk-free pole is at faster rate than that of yolk-rich pole. So, the yolk-rich pole in an egg is called vegetal pole and yolk-free pole in an egg is called animal pole. Now, let us see the types of cleavage and its patterns. Mainly, there are two types of cleavage, holoblastic cleavage and miroblastic cleavage. Holoblastic cleavage is complete cleavage and miroblastic cleavage is incomplete cleavage. In holoblastic cleavage, the cleavage furrow will extend through the entire egg. In miroblastic cleavage, the cleavage furrow cannot penetrate through vegetal or yolk rich region of the cytoplasm of egg. The patterns of holoblastic cleavage and miroblastic cleavage may be radial cleavage, bilateral cleavage, rotational cleavage and spiral cleavage. Again, the holoblastic or complete cleavage classified into isolacetal or mesolacetal cleavage. If the eggs has sparse equally distributed yolk, they are called isolacetal cleavage. The patterns of this type of cleavage is radial, spiral, bilateral or rotational. 
the blastomere is produced from this type of cleavage is equal blastomere in case of mesoacetal cleavage the cleavage type is also complete but the cleavage furrow will move slowly at vegetal region but it will cleave completely by giving two blastomeres of unequal size the larger blastomeres are derived from more yolky cytoplasm of vegetal pod they are called macromeres the smaller blastomeres produced from less yolky cytoplasm of animal pod and are called micromeres the micromeres tend to divide as faster rate than that of macromeres This type of cleavage occurs when the moderate vegetal yolk is present and the cleavage pattern is displaced radial cleavage. We will see all these patterns in this video. Also the meroblastic or incomplete cleavage classified into telolacetal cleavage and centrolacetal cleavage. In telolacetal cleavage there is a dense yolk is present throughout the cell. We know the eggs of birds and fishes having a small area of yolk free region. This is by telolacetal cleavage. Due to the small area of yolk free region, here the cell division occurs only in small disc of cytoplasm. This type of cleavage pattern is called discoid cleavage, which is one of the pattern of telolacetal type. Next, in case of centrolacetal cleavage, the cell divisions of cytoplasm occurs only around periphery of egg cell. This is because the yolk is present in the center of the egg. That's why the divisions of cytoplasm occurs only around the periphery of egg cell. Now let's see the structure of patterns in different cleavage types. As we know, there are two types of cleavage. One is holoblastic complete cleavage and meroblastic incomplete cleavage. Now we are looking at the holoblastic cleavage. We know holoblastic cleavage is further divided into isoacetal cleavage and mesoacetal cleavage. Both of these types have different patterns. Isoacetal cleavage may have radial cleavage, spiral cleavage, bilateral cleavage and rotational cleavage. The isoacetal egg has sparse evenly distributed yolk and mesoacetal egg has moderate vegetal yolk disposition. And the mesoacetal cleavage have displaced radial cleavage pattern. First of all we are going to see the pattern of radial cleavage. We know isoacetal cleavage is holoblastic equal cleavage. Let's see it in the radial cleavage. In radial cleavage successive cleavage planes cut straight through the egg at right angle to each other and the resultant blastomeres of the upper tier lie over the corresponding blastomeres of the lower tier that is viewed from the either pole the blastomeres are found to be arranged in a radially symmetrical form this type of cleavage pattern is found in echinoderms and amphioxus that's all about the radial cleavage pattern next is spiral cleavage in spiral cleavage there is a rotational movement of cell parts around the egg axis leading to the displacement of mitotic spindle here the first two cleavage furrows pass at right angles to one another during the third cleavage it is latitudinal cleavage the latitudinal cleavage in the third round is because of the oblique position of spindle which means they are arranged neither parallelly nor perpendicularly because of this cytoplasmic division occurs obliquely rather than horizontally as a result micromeres are pinched off towards the right or left of macromere the upper cells or micromeres come to lie at the junction of lower cells rather than over them thus the position of micromeres is spirally twisted the examples are annelid mollusks and flatworms that's all about this spiral cleavage next is bilateral cleavage in this cleavage the cleavage furrow cleaves into two equal halves Here the mitotic spindle and cleavage planes remain bilaterally arranged with respect to the plane of bilateral symmetry which coincides with the median plane of embryo. This type of cleavage is seen in tunicates and some vertebrates. Next is the rotational cleavage. In rotational cleavage the first cleavage is normal meridional division. Meridional cleavage means the cleavage furrow passes through the center of animal vegetal axis and bisects both poles of the egg. So the first cleavage is normal meridional division but the second cleavage is one of the two blastomeres divides meridionally and the other equatorial so this is rotational cleavage and the examples for rotational cleavage is mammals and nematodes that's all about the rotational cleavage so we have discussed all the isoacetal cleavage patterns in holoblastic complete cleavage There is radial cleavage, spiral cleavage, bilateral cleavage and rotational cleavage. We have discussed all these four types of cleavage patterns in isoacetal cleavage. Next is mesoacetal cleavage as we already said that in case of mesoacetal cleavage the cleavage type is also complete but the cleavage furrow will move slowly at vegetal region but it will cleave completely by giving 
two blastomeres of unequal size. The larger blastomeres are derived from the more yolky cytoplasm of vegetal pod. They are called macromeres. The smaller blastomeres produce from the less yolky cytoplasm of animal pod and are called micromeres. So the micromeres can divide at a faster rate than that of macromeres. Example for mesolistal cleavage is amphibians. So we have discussed all the cleavage patterns in holoblastic or complete cleavage that is isolistal cleavage and mesolistal cleavage. Next is myroblastic or incomplete cleavage. As we know, myroblastic cleavage further divided into telolistal cleavage and centrolistal cleavage. Let's see about the myroblastic cleavage types. The first cleavage pattern in telolistal type is bilateral cleavage, which we have already seen in holoblastic complete cleavage. The only difference is that here the bilateral cleavage is not complete, but in case of holoblastic cleavage, the bilateral cleavage was. complete next is discoid cleavage in this case the cleavage remains restricted to a disc shaped active cytoplasm of animal pole known as blasto disc the bulk of the egg contains the yolk does not undergo division this type of division is myroblastic discoidal cleavage here the examples are fish reptiles and birds so we have discussed about the cleavage patterns in telolistal egg next is centrolistal in centrolistal egg there is only superficial cleavage pattern here the cleavage remains restricted to the peripheral cytoplasm the nucleus lies in the center of the egg surrounded by a small amount of cytoplasm the large number of nuclei with the undivided central cytoplasmic mass move towards the peripheral layer of the cytoplasm gives rise to a syncytium at the periphery then the cytoplasm becomes subdivided by a number of furrows each enclosing a nucleus and the resulting cells become completely separated from the central mass of the yolk this type of cleavage is superficial cleavage and is mainly seen in insects so we have discussed all the cleavage types and its patterns that is holoblastic complete cleavage and myroblastic incomplete cleavage now let us summarize the types of cleavage so cleavage is the repeated mitotic division after the fertilization and these cells are called blastomeres as we said there are mainly two types of cleavage one is holoblastic complete cleavage and other is myroblastic incomplete cleavage in holoblastic complete cleavage there are two types isolistal cleavage and mesolistal cleavage in myroblastic cleavage it is subdivided into telolistal and centrolistal cleavage In case of isolistal cleavage the cleavage pattern may be radial spiral rotational or bilateral In case of mesolistal cleavage it has only displaced radial pattern In case of myroblastic incomplete cleavage it is further divided into telolistal and centrolistal In telolistal cleavage the cleavage pattern may be bilateral or discoid In centrolistal cleavage it has only superficial cleavage So that's all about the embryonic cleavage types and its patterns. I hope you like the video. If you like, please hit like. Also don't forget to subscribe my channel and press bell icon. Okay, thank you from Sanus Biotech Academy.